Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this Yarn 101, we're going to be taking a closer look at Gloria from Manos del Uruguay. And this is a gorgeous yarn. And just as a side note, please forgive my Spanish if it's a little bit off. I haven't had uh, Spanish classes in many years, so I'm doing the best I can with that. Um, this is a beautiful yarn. I have the colorway here. It's called Hibiscus. And I just wanted to give a special shout out to the good folks at Manos for providing yarn for this Yarn 101. It really is a treat. This is a 100% merino superwash. So even though it's wool, it's a very soft wool, it is machine washable, which is really um, great if you're giving this as a gift. It keeps it really simple for gift giving. And uh, again, the color I have is, is called hibiscus. The Spanish is hibisco. So uh, I have the full color card. It comes in 23 hand-dyed colors, and I'm really excited. The... the um, Colors are really beautiful, every single one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the color card now. So like I mentioned before, this is a Merino Superwash, 100%. Now you can machine wash it, but if you look at the little booklet here, um, it says machine wash gentle cycle, or you can hand wash in cool water, and then they do recommend that you dry it flat. Anytime I have handmade items, I really um, like to hand wash everything. That's just a personal preference. But technically, you can wash it in the gentle cycle of your washing machine. Now, this yarn is, um, I just want to show you this booklet. The um, booklet says that this is a nonprofit organization, the company Manos del Uruguay, which assembles women in cooperatives throughout the countryside. The aim of the organization is to bring economic and social opportunities to rural women. They are proud members of the World Fair Trade Organization. And I also wanted to mention, you can see down here, someone has handwritten, this is handwritten here, the location and the artisan of this person who has made this yarn. So that's really neat to get something where someone has handwritten the location. So, uh, like I mentioned also, uh, it comes in 23 colors. It is very squishy. It has a smooth strand. This is a worsted weight yarn. It is a four uh, or medium on the yarn weight scale. And then on the back here, you can see some information. Each um, skein of this is 219 yards uh, or 200 meters if you use the um, metric system. 100 grams and 3.53 ounces. For the knitters, they recommend a US 8 or a 5 millimeter needle, whether that's straight needles, circular, circular needles, double pointed needles, what have you. For the crocheters, there isn't a specific crochet hook size on here. However, um, I would begin, whenever I uh, don't see the crochet hook information, just the knitting needle, I usually try and start with the... Um, the five millimeter, so this is recommending a five millimeter for the knitters. I'll start with the five millimeter, and actually this is four to five millimeters. So start with that hook size and maybe work up a swatch and see how, how you like the fabric that you're getting with that, just as a starting point. I like to uh, try lots of things, and you'll be surprised at, you know, if you use a smaller hook, you'll get something tighter, or an end, need, end knitting needle. If you use something larger, you'll get something loose and open and drapey. So, um, they also recommend in the in the little this is a little booklet that comes with your your yarn. They recommend buying enough yarn to complete a project to give an overall blended effect. Knit two rows from one skein and two rows from the other. So that's just a little tip that they give in the booklet. So this yarn is really beautiful. The again the color this color is hibiscus. It's a just a beautiful kind of like a papaya, and I do have a free pattern that will be coming soon with this, and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. Um, it's very soft and looks like a very smooth strand, and I'm excited to um, share with you more in the future uh, something I'll be making with this yarn. So I hope that gives you a little bit more information. I'm really happy and excited with this series to be sharing some yarns that you may see out in the marketplace and maybe some yarns that you're not familiar with. So um, that is Gloria. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.